Well, first of all, it's one of the great scientific advances in, in the history of medicine. Uh, the Nobel Prize was, in fact, given out for the discovery of the virus just a few years ago. Uh, a few close friends of mine received it. Uh, really, a, it's a recognition of the fact that this is a major advance in uh, history. Uh, secondly, uh, the vaccine development uh, received the Lasker Award, uh, another indication of the importance of this. So scientifically, it's one of the great advances. And what's remarkable is it's exactly what we've wanted to do all along, which is to prevent a cancer from happening in the first place. Not just curing advanced cancer, which is often the dialogue and the focus, but this is an opportunity to prevent 80% of cervical cancers and head and neck cancers that have HPV in them, which are a, a just horrific cancers to acquire and left untreated is just an extraordinary tragedy for the individual and that family. So from the standpoint of what's appropriate to do in medicine, given this modality, which is historic in its beneficial impact, and as a father of two young girls, ages 10 and eight, my position as a physician my position as president of MD Anderson, as a member of the Institute of Medicine, and as a father. There's only one path here, which is to support vaccination. To do anything else would be unethical. And I would ask those that oppose this to visit one patient with cervical cancer in an advanced state, one patient with head and neck cancer.